Milk. Crate. Marauder. Chauncey Hayden, you're on the air. This is the publisher, writer of Stepping Out Magazine. Hey, Howard. Congratulations on your new contract. Thank you. It's great to have you back. Thanks. I know over the years, you and Pat Cooper have had your ups and downs. Yes. And apparently... I've had no ups and downs. Pat has the ups and downs. Pat has, yeah. What, what do we do now? <clears throat> I don't know what set it off. He, he did my internet talk show uh, over the vacation. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about comics. I asked him what comics he likes today. Yeah. And somehow it turned into you and how uh, you're a Hitler, you're a dictator, uh, you think you're Jesus. <laughs> you got that on and, tape? Uh, apparently he's got, he wants to get a bullhorn and st stand outside your apartment. What? And, uh, he thinks you ruin people's lives. I mean, he went off on about a ten-minute tirade. You got to give me that. It's unbelievable. You can, you have a copy of the uh, transcript. I don't want. What good is that going to be? Give it, give it to us to play on the radio. Yeah, you want to play it? Can you play it? It's your, it's your radio show. Of course you can. Okay, okay, I'll send you guys a copy. Is it a radio show? Yeah, it's like. So it's your radio show. Okay. I, why can't I play that? Yeah, he's got to ask himself permission. He doesn't know how to do. If you're that. giving me permission, I'm fine with it. Okay, well, just that over the years, you couldn't play the tapes of interviews. So well, they weren't your interviews. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know the rules. I'll send it over to you. Guys. Was it a radio show? Yeah. Oh, so the yeah, we could play it. No, you used to do private interviews where you had a right, and then you cassette. Wrote stories from them. But right. this is it. You're saying this is an interview that Pat did. Right. I would like to hear what he has to say about me. You, he's really. Uh, I, I, well, what did I do? Did, we'll didn't I just see him? Didn't we have a great time with him? I thought so. I've never heard him. So, so you know how he gets upset? He gets, like, shaky? Yeah. He was in one of those modes where he's actually trembling. I don't know. I'm looking at the transcript, Howard. It's pretty ugly. I'm the only one who even, like, like believes in the guy. But the last time he was in here. Last okay, time he was in here, we had a great time. I, great. The guy's, the, you know, he might have a what real... What happens when he leaves? I don't know. You gotta, you gotta... Hmm. I'm Hitler? No, you're Jesus. Oh, I'm Jesus so and Hitler. Not Jesus. I'm not Jesus. Are you not? I know I'm not. I thought you were. And you know what? Can I tell you what the question was that lit him? Lit him up? What comics do you think are funny today? Oh. And then he talked about this one. Then he talked about Dice. Then he talked about another show that Dice does. And he talks about how you and these guys are competing. And then he talks about... Then he goes nuts. He just goes nuts. And what then he talks it? about he's going to stand in front of your house with a bullhorn. What? Why? Yeah, what? <laughs> Hold on. Well, what did I do to him? Well, Where is he? I I Forget it. Just, get, just get me the, give me the tape and I'll play it on the air. All right. Oh, he's crazed. He, um, I, I know what started it. I just, I'm trying to figure a way to to bring it up without. What? It, yeah, because it's our radio competitors who who sit and and rip off my show daily, and th it's all that. Right. Uh -huh. Are you ready? I'll give you the. I'll just give you the last part of it. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, sue me, you rat bastard, sue me. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, you rat piece of dirty. He thinks he's a dictator. That's how Hitler started. People have to stand up to Howard Stern. He's not Jesus. He's not anybody. It's over for Howard Stern. <laughs> what? <laughs> when did, wasn't he just in here a few weeks ago? Yeah. We had a great time. Who cares, though? What did you do to him? I don't know, but I think I think maybe we're done with Pat. We, we always say oh, that. Come on. It sounds yeah. like he's done come with on. you. But it was a no. great appearance last time, right? It was great. He was great the last time he was here. How can you say no to Pat uh, Cooper? That's true. <laughs> you, know, you wonder if it's a bit, though. You know, sometimes I think he just goes off like that to be over the top. You, you Maybe he thinks I like it. Like. What? I don't know. Yeah, hey, I saw uh, Pat Cooper on OTB not too long ago. Yeah. And everything was cool. He, he was loving you. Maybe he's mad. Maybe he made fun of his suit last time. Yeah, but I don't think he was offended by that. I mean, it was fun. It gave him some room yeah, to... He's wearing a jumpsuit. So what? Trying to give him some something to riff on. But you know when you're interviewing Pat, you just have to mention the name, and then he goes off into a... Uh, this long, crazy, you know, rant. Yeah, it's like a slowly I turn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's that kind of thing where you just names come up and he just goes crazy. He doesn't even know what he's saying. And then now, if you bring, if you talk to him, he'll probably apologize and say, you know, uh, he doesn't apologize for anything ever. No, he never apologizes. That's what I think. You know, hey, like listen. It? I mean, in, in all fairness, Pat doesn't talk to his own children. I mean, that's a guy who, you know, I'll never figure out. He bl he's mad at his kids because they, they, stay, with they stay with their mother, but he left. <laughs> and then the, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I'll never now understand we'll him. Now we'll get into trouble because we said that. That's all right. I don't care about being in trouble. The guy obviously doesn't care about me. I also think it's interesting that he doesn't talk to his mom either. All right. Mother dear. Hey, she had already had him. He didn't need her. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird.
Yeah, but I, I don't know what happened. I mean, he definitely was liking us, and nothing strange happened that I we know. We had of. a very pleasant time the last time he was in here. Yeah. Should I call I him recall. or not even bother? To see Whatever. What well, I mean, let's listen to the tape. First. Can we'll you get to that to us quickly, Chauncey? I can show you the transcript and. Well, I'll, re I'll read the transcript and then but I'll we, play the it's tape. It's better to play it on the air. I right. can archive. Anybody can listen to it at uh, iyada. We'll log on to there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Welcome Bye -bye. back, Howard. Right. Okay. Man. <laughs> With friends like Pat. And we don't have many good friends. No, we got the worst friends. You think he'd love us. He us at a moment's notice. Uh, like we always put him on and promoted his shows. And, and, and look at the things that have ha uh, that have happened to his career as a result of the exposure here. Yeah, but then he'll say, no, we had nothing to do with that it. That irks him. Hmm. It irks him that this has done something for him. Hmm. He used to tell me all the time, like, young people dig him now and... You know. Right, he's got new audience. He gets those shots on different radio networks that try to capitalize on what they hear here. Well, people say that Pat could have had a much bigger career if he had learned to just sort of shut his mouth once in a while, because a lot of people wanted to help him. Right. So maybe that's a, this is what they're talking about. But we've said ourselves, he shoots himself in the foot all the time. He's turned on everyone who's ever in, done anything for him. Yeah, that's weird. Who did this? Uh, yes, Raul, you're on the air in Queens. Hey, what's up, Howard? Go ahead, Raul. Hey, Howard, what's up? All right, come on, let's talk. Uh, yeah, is Pat Cooper still coming in? What did he say? Is Pat Cooper still coming in? I thought he said, <laughs> yeah, Pat's in the next room. I can room. interpret I'm, that. Pat's coming in next. Oh, that's great, man, because that was awesome on the mail last night. I saw him. It was fucking awesome. He's going crazy. What did he say, Robin? He was on demand last night, and he saw Pat going crazy, so he's all excited. You're preparing yourself for Pat's appearance by watching his past performances on Howard TV. Yes, that's correct. Pat Cooper, uh, some of his past performances going berserk. I yeah, hopefully so. I'll rouse them up today. All right. I think that was uh, I'm A-list, not B-list, right? That's my favorite. I think that's probably that's what that's on is. Howard TV right now. All right. Well, I have to tell you, I haven't seen Pat Cooper in how long? Uh, and I never thought I'd see him again. I think it's got to be, I hadn't thought about it, but six, seven years? Mm, Could it be more? Probably. All right. Well, let's bring Pat in. Gary said uh, he stopped dying his hair red. It's now all gray. Oh, really? And uh, here he is. We had him on the wrap-up show one day. You saw him? Yes, I have seen him. Did he look older? Yes. He did. And how did that go? Oh, how old? A fucking hour. I'm 77 years old. And the man takes an hour of my life. That's bullshit, man. Here we go already. Right. You're already angry. Huh? We just, uh, can't we say Hey, Robin, Robin I didn't finish talking to him yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> Nobody could that? hear you. Hi, Are you uh, wearing a jumpsuit? Do me a favor. Yeah. Start to eat. I know. I'm, yeah, I'm fucking getting too skinny. Life is short. Right. A half a billion. Spend it now because you can't take a with you, pal. That's Trust true. me. I should probably You're eat something. You're doing a great job. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm very happy to be here. Sit down, please. I don't want to sit down. I want Robin to breast hub ball. How are you, Robin? I'm fine. Happy with... holiday and happy holiday, by the Thank way. Thank you, Pat. Well, did I have a holiday? Uh, uh, yes. Style. How are you, buddy? Hey, Pat. I want you to shave once in a while. How you doing? Hi, buddy. Hi. What's up, dude? You know, You're Pat, still here. I'm still here. God bless you. Fred is still here. Fred is still here. You have to forgive me. I left my hearing aid home, and I'm not being funny. I left it. Of course, to show you how exciting you are to me that I left my fucking hearing aid Why would you leave your hearing aid home? Because I'm stupid. He, tell, he called me and says, can you make up by 7.15? I'm here an hour and 10 minutes already. Can you hear now? No. Why would I want to hear you? What do you got to say to me that I got to hear? With the headphones on. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be still, fine. Right. I think so. Do you so. want to raise the level? Just move your lips once in a while so I know you're talking to me. Do you want to raise All the right. level in your headphones? Uh, I don't know. Are you okay? Do you hear I'm me okay? I'm never okay, okay Howard. No, do you that, hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you okay. Do you hear Robin okay? I don't want to hear Robin. She's getting on my fucking nerves. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> darling. <laughs> How are you? Pat, let me uh, try to understand. Let me make, try to make sense of our relationship first. Okay. If that's okay with you. And then he'll get back you to the You want to know why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you ask me why and I end it right here? It's very easy. No, 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 no. I, I, I want to understand something. Okay, go ahead. I always felt, as a fan of yours, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I'm a fan, I always appreciated you and had you on my show for many years. Absolutely. Very, very good guest. Uh, my family always enjoys your, you, you know, you know, big fans. <laughs> and I always said in your career, there's something in your personality that always has to blow up what's good I feel now this is my opinion and I'm playing pop psychologist I have no credentials and we had a nice relationship and this is true of you all the time I think your career would have been as big as a Rickles as any of these guys but I think a lot of times you push people so hard 
and you come on so strong like a pit bull that you blow off the people who want you to do your best and, and are rooting for you in your corner. And I think that's sad. I mean, I really was never going to have you back on again because I just said, God, the guy hates me so much. That's he, not true. So, Why would you say that? Well, because who told you, you that? Said, no, no, that's bullshit. I Howard. heard you on several interviews where you no, got no, very ugly no, about that, my family that's not and my true. children. And no. you said it to me, too. All right, hold on a minute. All right. Hold on a minute. First of all, I never, never mentioned your children. No, never. you did. You did. Never. Want me to tell you what you said? Yeah. You didn't tell me if I'm yeah. lying. Go ahead. You told me that uh, after my divorce, that my children were not going to love me anymore, that I'd have no relationship with them. And I know that happened for you in your life, and I'm sorry about that. I know it's painful. Well, why would I throw that on you for? I don't but understand you did. that. I think you projected. I don't remember doing that, Rob. Right? I, I don't I wrong, remember Robin? doing this it. This is well, a, I'm, the I'm, general well, thing. Whenever uh, we uh, have a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. falling out with Pat, Pat would say he didn't remember saying I whatever know. it was. And I, and I, I mean, I truly had Howard, your best interest. Howard, Howard, if I said that, yeah. I don't know why I would say that. And I'm saying to myself now, why would I bring? There had to be a reason for me to say that. Or, I know. Or... When I said it, it could have been comedically. It could have been my way of saying, you know, you know kidding around. I have no accident right. around with you or your children. I mean, right. that's bullshit. I, I mean, I just was right. shocked. Right. Now, but, let me I explain mind, to you why. I, mind, I, I never minded that you would well, run around. Well, I mind it because I feel terrible now because I'm saying to myself, why would I turn around and go after this guy? I left on my own. Fine. And I tell you why I left on my own. Yeah, I heard all about that. I don't mind that. I you, don't know you, why you what you heard. I'm telling you why tell I me, left right, on my tell own. Tell me why. Okay. I'm listening to you one morning, and you're having a debate with these other two guys who shall be mentionless. Okay. Right. No, you don't have to, you can talk about you Opie and Andrew. Oh, you can mention okay. anybody you want so on So I'm this saying show. to myself, here's a guy. He's a giant. That's right. Here's a man. I don't know how big he can get. Here's a man, he's one of a kind. Why is he wasting his time making two guys bigger than they are by fighting with them? And I'm saying, is this all worth it? Then when Jack Martin split, I'm saying there's something not right here. I think it's about time. Maybe I should back away and say to my, you know, I'm saying, what, 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 why? What do you, first Jack of all, let, let's go backwards. Split. What, wait, do, you wait, wait, do? what oh, do you oh, have to do? What I'm, do you have to do with Jack Martling and Jack I Martling? I love Jack Martling. And, and if, I, I have a, if I have words with uh, two other guys, how does that impact me and you? Jackie Martling leaves the show because Jackie Martling I don't care why, got into a salary yeah. dispute with Infinity Broadcast yeah. okay. at the time. That, what does that got to do well, with me and you? Well, well, that's me, unfortunately. I turned around and I said, well, maybe things are going to change here, so I should back away and you know, go about no, my you, life. You didn't know my relationship with Jackie. Jackie would take I, me every day and rake me over the coals. Okay. And really, and really, it was getting devices. Robin and Fred were having a hard time with them. It was a, it was a okay, problem fine. in okay. our organization. Okay. What's that okay. got to do with me and you? Because you've got to understand where I'm coming from. That's my bullshit. Where are you coming from? I, that's my bullshit. Okay. Crazy now you're stuff. saying what? What? what I, I don't know what you got with Jackie. And I don't give a damn what you got with Jackie. I just thought that you know, so maybe this, maybe this whole thing is starting to break away. You know, guys are going to be different. P people are going to be. Maybe I should back away and just go on a hiatus and figure. So why bad mouth me everywhere? You I don't go. remember bad mouthing oh. you. All right. Ooh. If you say so, I'm going to take your word for it. I mean, come on. If you say, vicious listen, stuff. I have never. Uh, Walk the street since I left this show. Had anybody say to me, you bad mouth Howard, you bad. All they said to me was, you're the only one that's straight front with Howard. And I said, well, I had good shows. Straight right? front is good. I never, never said this show didn't help me. Never. Right. And I said, and I helped, helped the, the show. show. All right. That's Why right. I'm here today, I'm the most surprised man, Howard. You are surprised. I what, am, what brought you back to the show? I'll tell you why. Okay. I don't remember my agent, I understand, calls here. Okay. Okay. Without my permission, but that's okay. All right. I'm not mad that I'm here. Please believe that. All right. Gary called me. And Gary said, Pat, we'd like you to do the show October 4th. I says, what time you want me? I didn't debate. Not knowing that my agent had called you, say, you know, Pat wants right. to come on the show. All right. So when I found that, I called my agent. I said, I said not for anything. I said, I got nothing against these people. I says, why, why don't you let me know? I said, now I feel like a jerk. When, when, when Gary called me, I felt like a jerk. I said, because I didn't know. I thought, well, gee, Gary's calling me on his own. He did call me on his own, which is fine. Right. I said, and I admit that. My well, agent the, guy, called the guys came to me, and they said in the meeting, Pat, this is how it was presented to me. Pat uh, is available to come on. And they said, how do you feel about it? I said, really, 
I don't want to have anything to do with Pat anymore. And okay. I'll, and I, well, well, no, no, wait, wait, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I said that. I said, I don't feel the man likes me. I don't feel the man is uh, appreciative of our relationship. I said, and also, it, it pains me because I care about him. But, but the only reason it pains me is because I like the guy. I, I have a feeling for you and I and, and, uh, always enjoyed your company and enjoyed the effort you put into my show, which helped my show. And so it, I said, I don't know that I want to put myself through the reunion. You know what I mean? It feels awkward to me and forced. But I recognize that my audience would probably like to hear us together again. And uh, in the interest of doing good radio, I will do it. So that's why I agreed to it. And I don't know, I don't know why you got under my skin. I guess because I thought we had a different kind of relationship and I realized I was just another one of the pack. That's I was not true. I was Lola uh -huh. Falana or I was just another guy. Frank Sinatra. I was Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I was another one of the shitheads in your world. And I just said, you know, maybe it's time I stop being a masochist and going back to the well for my beating. Uh, but uh, I'm glad you're here. I, I have no uh, uh, animosity towards you. I'm a big fan of yours. I just wonder what goes wrong. And I wonder if this isn't a pattern in your life that everybody's got to get blown up somehow who loves you. I don't think so, Howard. I, gotta, no. I mean, you got to give me credit for one thing. I am where I want to be. Now, that sounds strange. Right. I am where I want to be. Right. I've had opportunities. And you can say, well, because because uh, it's your own fault. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Right. I don't see myself as you do. Right. You probably have a better perspective. I turn around. I say to me, I don't want to be there. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. And I'm not going to do that. And I stayed. And I stayed. I True stayed to where I know. I'm making a lot of good living. Right. I got great, you know, great family. I'm saying I'm okay. And I didn't want to get involved. In show business, as we say. Right. So I wanted to get myself, I got a family, when show business is over, close the door and go home. This is what I do. When I'm in show business, when I'm on your show, listen, I've had controversies with you, we've yelled and screamed, and right. I've said things to you. All right, it's good radio, right. fine. Absolutely. So when I left the studio, I said, all right, I was a part of good radio, and I went home. And how, I, is I, your, I, how is your life now? Is it good? Uh, well, I lost my wife two years ago. Oh, I and, know I'm, and, you know, I was going to write you a note. About that, I heard about that. Okay, okay, that's I, felt, right. I felt horrible that you lost you. I know you loved your wife very dearly. I lost, I lost, I lost. Your best uh, why, what can I tell you? But, but you know, life goes on. Well, I got my grandkids. Thing. I got my, I got my daughter. I, I, I still live in Vegas. I bought a place here in New York. But let me tell you something. Maybe it's too emotional. I felt very bad when I heard that your wife died. Well, I, know I didn't close. know. You didn't tell me. Well, I had heard. Well, I, I saw you. I, no, I mean, I'm been him. He didn't uh, tell me. No, I would have written you a letter, but I felt. <laughs> I understand. I felt, gee, the guy wasn't going like to hear him. from me for he don't right, like me. Right, right, he, right. Or he's got. I, sometimes I think you're just <laughs> angry with my career. Oh, let me ask you a question. I, I know there are people who are jealous of if me. If I didn't like you, yeah. Why would I be here? Today? Well, I didn't know you would be here. Well, today, today is well, I didn't time know it, and I'm going to say to you again. You. I told this agent, I, you know, I said, look, I haven't been with the guy for about four years. I don't want to start, you know, maybe the guy thinks I, I, I'm in trouble or something. Look at my mind. Right. I said, so, you know, he said, Pat, you know, life is short. He says, Rich Gary's going to call you. So when Gary called me, and he's out there, tell you, I said, what time do you want me there? Guy didn't make a speech. Well, I'm not too sure who called who. How called long him. were you married? 41 years. 41 years. Yeah. And uh, two years ago, you lost your wife yeah. to, to illness? Yeah. I lost my wife two years ago. I lost her, and I got my grandchildren, and my wife, and my daughter. That's what I'm down to. But you got to understand. Are you living in Vegas still? Well, my home is Vegas, but I bought a place here in New York. You live in New York for Are you time. dating? I just bought a place. Um, am I what? Are you dating? Dating, yeah. I'm you dating. are? Ooh. Am I dating? Did she ask me? Yeah. Yes. You are dating. Well, I, I met a I met a woman that my wife and I knew. Go ahead. And I took her to, uh, last year. I walked over to her and I said, Joanne, would you like to go to Italy with me? So she started to laugh. She goes, I know. I heard a guy asking me for dinner. You got to ask me to go to Italy. I said, Well, I want to go to Italy. Woman? I'm sorry. White woman. What is the difference? She's Chinese. She's, Chinese. She's a woman. Oh, I'm just trying oh, to get an a idea. Shit, Was it a white woman? I go out with human beings. I don't it, give a is fuck. Is it a white woman? White and black don't bother. Never did. I didn't say it bothered. Yes, it did because you 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 you, you press me. Is she white or black? Is she a white woman? I'm just curious. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> She's Italian. She was born in Bali. All right. So I turned around and I took her to Italy. Now we're walking on eggs. But wait, was it strange? Because here's a woman that knew your wife. No. I'll tell you how strange it was. All right. I got her own room. So she said to me, she said, you know, you're a gentleman. I said, no, there's a thing called hygiene. You have to go to the bathroom. You got your own bathroom. Right. You're a woman. You got to clean yourself woman-wise. I said, I'm not looking to get laid. 
Why would I take you twelve, you know, three thousand miles or six thousand miles to get in your pants? I right. would stay here getting your pants. Right. I ain't looking to get laid. I you don't want to get laid. I said I'm still thinking of my wife. I took her to Italy. Right. We went in Venice and for twelve days walking on eggs because she didn't know my turn. I didn't. She didn't know my humor. I didn't know. And we're looking at each other, eating and looking at each other. <laughs> I go back to Vegas and I said, Would you like to go to dinner? I took her to dinner. Next thing I said, I said, Would you like to go to Sicily with me? Wow. She says yes, and we just and came no back. Sex, uh, we so just far. came back. Oh. No now, sex. now, I'm saying I got a relationship with this girl. But I told Sexual her. Sexual relationship. Excuse me. I told her we are not an item. She goes, what does that mean? I'm still wooing you. She wow. goes, what does that mean? I says, if I stop wooing you, it's going to get old. Mm. So what I'd like to do is woo you. I don't want you to move in with me. I don't want to move in with you. I want you to have your own place. I got my own place. I'll do anything I can to be a good guy to you. But I don't want you living and me living together because I. Why don't you treat me like that? Why don't you treat me like that? I treated you better than you'll ever know. Really? What I... about the good times? <laughs> oh, we love the good times. The good times were good. <laughs> well, wait, was there ever any good times? Oh, there were a lot of good times. times. All right, so let me ask you something. But I'm a battered wife. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, I've said things to you. that I don't think anybody said nothing anger or hate, because I never had any hate for nobody. Right, right, right. So that's me. So if I'm a fuck up, okay. I'm not saying no, and I'm not saying what you're saying. I said this, I said that. I never had hate towards you. You got to believe that. I don't hate nobody. I'm a dickhead. But listen, uh, no, listen you know, to me, Howard. There's I only back to your relationship. Wait, get back to your relationship for a second. Yeah. I wish I had those tapes. Yeah, I wish. We but anyway, listen tape. to me. I wish you did. You I don't have them. I don't. I didn't line up tapes. I, I wanted to talk to you man to man. No, but I wanted you to. Put but next time I'll get. You tapes. know why? Why? You know why, Howard? What? If that's true, yes, I would be the most shocked guy to talk about your children. If I said anything about maybe your wife, not that, but why would I involve your children? I'll, I'll bring why would you tape. say something about his wife? I'll bring wait the tape if you want. Wait a minute. I said it to you. You no, said it you in said interviews. It on shows on and shows. What interviews? I'll, I'll bring it in. I'll happening. bring it in. Okay. I'll bring it in. I want to be embarrassed. All right. Why uh, this white woman you're dating? Why is it a <laughs> white woman? That well, you take to Sicily. <laughs> Did you? So so far no sex. And is the is the no is sex the, is the ghost or the thought of your wife very no. much there? She knew you. No, I you, can't get a heart on. You can't. I swear to Christ Almighty. Because I took, you, Viagra fails me. I had a patch. They gave me a patch to put on my ass. It says you get an erection in three hours. I'm my old God. Wow. I put it on my ass. Three hours later, I went back to smoking. <laughs> so I'm wow. bringing a point that it didn't work. So I can't function, and I ain't going to put the woman through that crap. Do you think that you can't get an erection because this woman knew your wife, or do you think it's because... No, because I'm old. You're not that old. You're I'm, 70... I'm 77. You just killed an hour of my time. And 77, you can't get an erection? It's, I it's never so thought depressing. of erections at 77. Do you never get erections? Do you have no spontaneous erections? My darling, I never think of that. Well, you being off, can you still come? No, I never do. You go. I never bother. Wow. When did that stop? I don't know. It just stopped. You had sexual relations with your wife. Oh, absolutely. No problem So there. within the last two years, you stopped having erections. Did you ever think it was psychological? Yeah. Well, because that's what my God. friend tells me. It's psychological. Yes. I go to a doctor, and my other God, he can't get an erection. So what does that tell you? Two years ago, you could get an erection. Two years yeah. ago, you were banging your wife. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but all of a sudden, it's just like it never entered my mind. I lost this lady. I'm worried about my grandkids. I'm worried about my daughter. I made sure that whatever I, uh, I was worth, I took care of my grandkids. I took care of my daughter. Right. Make sure my kids are going to go to my grandkids or to college. That was on my mind. My mind was taking care of them while I'm alive. Right. Not when I'm dead. Because I wanted to see what I can give to these kids and give to my daughter. That was important. Do you think this girl is terrific, but by the way. Do you think that she's, you're not physically attracted? Like if I brought in a young stripper here, you don't think you'd get no. an erection? Like no. if you went to school, you don't go How to is she younger than you, Joy? I in? swear to you, I've had opportunities, and I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. You've had the moment they, come and not been able while she's there? Robin, I should never see my grandkids again. I tell you on television and on radio, that's my problem. 
But to me, it's not a problem because that's not important to so me. So what do you do? You have to eat her, right? You have to lick her. Uh, I don't eat nothing. No, you have to lick her. No, licking. You know nothing. So what, are you, got, what are you fucking nuts? What when you, you get in bed licking? with... Wait. You think that's what I'm going to do? So, honey, I can't get an erection. Sit down. I'm going to eat you. Well, that's what eat. guys in wheelchairs do. The only fucking thing I eat is food. Give me a break. Hold on a second. You're going to tell me this woman's going to be your companion. You're getting intimate with I each other. I don't know if she wants to and be my companion. And you're not going to lick her? She didn't say I'm going to be a betrothed. I don't know betrothed. No, no, I'm not talking about getting married again. I, that's She's a terrific lady. She understands. She's so your friend. She's 55 years old. She understands. 55? Yeah. That's I'm 77. Young. A much younger woman. She's got needs, man. She's gorgeous, and she's got a body that don't quit. And, and you, I'm sick. I'm and in neutral. And she stood before you nude, and you sat there, and you said, I can't. I, I never to. was nude with her. Well, why don't you try? I don't want to try. Why don't you? Because I'm a tight. He's afraid. That's crazy. you got to get back in the saddle. I mean, I don't got to get back. It's not important. Yeah, really? You don't have desire. I'm going to talk to you like a brother, kid. Okay. I swear no, to you, honest. as God is my... I have wow. never, never, never felt this way about my sexual life. I didn't think about it. My main concern after I lost my wife was my daughter and my two grandkids. All right, but now you can start but thinking no, about your daughter very, can take no, care of herself. I got very heavy into that. Yeah. I turned around, got lawyers, and signed everything over to my daughter to make sure oh. that she was okay. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. My daughter is... Biggest a, mistake you could have made. What's the difference? It's only money. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Your daughter now has all your money? Well, not really, and I left her a will. I'll tell you a will, but yeah. you have your money. Well, I got, I got, I got a few dollars. I, 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 listen, I, listen, I no, am... If you die, you left her all your money. You didn't put it in, in, in... You didn't let her hold on to it now. Oh, no, I gave her from my, from my, you know, from my pocket. No, I, mean, but I understand that. But, but you I don't, told she you... doesn't have control of your assets. Nobody got control of my assets. Thank I don't God. have control of my assets. Yes, you what do. are you talking about? Nah, not really, Howard. You know what my philosophy is? This is why you can look at me and say, well, you said this about my kids. You said that about my kids. You want to hear a tape? Again. They found am, the tape. I, you want to hear a tape of you bad mouthing me, my kids? What? Gary claims he found the tape. Found of you the tape? You want to hear it? Yeah. It's going to hurt. I don't care. I All came right. on the shelf. I can't take it. I'll quit. All right, here we go. I, I haven't heard this tape either. I don't know what, what it is. What show is this? Gary, where is this from? I can't remember. Uh, we, we had the clip, but I remember it was Pat was sitting in some sort of a diner. It was some video show they did. It was sitting in some sort of right. diner being interviewed. Here we go. This, this is what set me off. This is what really did it for me. Okay, go okay. ahead. What do you children say to you 10 years on the road? What do you children say to you? How do you go? Is so that a lady? How strange the daughter is. Yeah. Let me sure. tell you about your father. I mean, they're going to be punished for this. Yeah. And they don't seem to understand that. Because his character, what he's doing now, the children will suffer. Right. And, you know, I mean, they, you, they walk down the street. And I told him this. Your kids will turn around and be punished for what you're I doing. I said that. But it's like talking to the wall. I said it's that. It's your voice. That's you. All right. I tell you, I remember What that. am I doing wrong that my kids are embarrassed about? The fuck do I know? I had to talk about some, so I talked about you. Oh, come on. I'm a friend. You don't do that to a, a friend. friend do a I friend. say that about your kids? I wouldn't you could say anything you no, want. Oh, come on. You wouldn't want that. But you're right. I, I heard it now. And you you're don't like when right. I say things about your personal but, life. Okay. You have, you're a vulnerable man. You can say anything you want no, about me, Howard. you know what happened with your children and all that. There's a, there's a very big rift. Wait a minute. Ho, ho. Back off. Come on. Oh, back wait off. Wait a minute. You forgot. What I forget? About when, when my when my daughter came on your show and my mother came on your show. You yes. forgot about that? I don't. Did I turn around and back down? Yes, did you I told touch? me not to talk about it anymore. No. Yes, you did. No, you because did. that was one of you your best. You said, I'm not coming on anymore if you talk that, about my kids and my wife, and, and I don't no, want to talk about it. No, we didn't talk it. about my kids and my wife. We I, talked I about my exes. Off. I backed off. No. No. Uh, no. Uh, come that on. was one of your best shows ever. And, yes. if you, and if you remember, I, I it said to you, Howard, if we could put this on tape, we'd sell 10 million of these goddamn things. That's true. Things. And I said to you at the time, you said to me later on, look, yeah. I don't want to talk to my kids on the phone anymore. You know, I'm talking about your Where biological say kids. That? You, you, I must be you old. Talk to me. Robert, uh, I, 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 you're getting, yeah, you're, getting you're a little can't remember. Uh, I, I backed remember. off. I That's did right. things you didn't want to say. That's all. That's okay. I can handle it. I I feel, I'll tell you what, I feel bad you can't get an erection. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're with a 55-year-old woman, that's a considerably younger woman, it's got to weigh on you. It's got to. Do you guys make out or do uh, any physical things? Do you make out? I, I talk you to kiss? you, and I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it on national radio. I'm telling you the truth. 
Right. Why would I lie to you? Why would I make a statement like that? I don't even think you're going to come that far, but this is your show, and I know what we always talk about, so that's okay. You can talk about my sex life. What no, you I'm just saying. Talk? I have no sex life. I was looking for it. I ain't looking for it. Yeah, but you want companionship. You want to be with a I woman. I like to be. Have a lady with me. Take her to dinner. She's terrific. She's got a great figure. She's got a great sense of humor, and, and she's terrific. And I, I, I like being happen. with her. This is what happens when you're 77, though. I mean, I wonder if my father can still get hard. Is he? I don't know. My Father's I can't speak for your father. No, or you. he tells me he has sex. Well, he then does? your father's terrific. When did he tell My you mother that? said they still have sex. Well, she doesn't act exactly. Howard, right. I went to a doctor, not one, two. So it bothers you? Well, no, I went to see if something was physically wrong with me. Right. Oh no, no. The like first thing prostate. I said, take mom. Well, I prostate me. Listen, I pee like a like, like a better than a horse. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's no I problem. I feel this is psychological. I think you were madly <laughs> in love and with your Viagra wife. And Viagra did nothing. I feel you were madly in love with your wife. Yeah. She's gone. This woman was a friend of hers. He's still grieving. You're still grieving. You probably didn't go to a psychiatrist and talk it over with somebody. I don't go to a psychiatrist. Well, uh, you maybe need gonna to. Analyze? You try to analyze when you can't. I'm telling you're you. You're pretty good. I'm telling you. And you got to go with this woman, this new woman, and you got to start with like a hand job. What's a hand? What are you sick of seven <laughs> seven? No, hold it, hold it. I'm going to be honest you know with you. She's you know got to give you a hand job. What? He's a sexual surrogate. I wouldn't put her through that. Are you stupid? Are you crazy? Because she in love with you? I don't know. There's no love here. I don't think I like her. I like her oh, very much. I thought I had a different impression. But what impression you got? I she's my. You, she's, I thought this was romance. I tell her you're my lady. I tell everybody. Say hello to my lady. And don't you think she says to her friends, Pat won't fuck me? I think she's oh. terrific. I think she's a patient woman. I don't think she's bought it up. Oh, so and you I don't think, think it's so gonna happen? Think... Do you kiss her on the mouth? Well, we, we don't. We don't. We don't. Yeah, I kiss her. You kiss her. I, well, I kiss you on the mouth. That no, don't no, mean no, I'm no, gay. No, no. You kiss that her. don't mean I'm you gay. You have romantic kisses with her. Hey, we kiss. What? Right. Right. Okay. Do you feel her breast? Nothing. No. You don't. You've no. never touched her breast. All the months <laughs> you're going out with her. No. Why? You kiss her and run. It's none of my fucking business. That's why. Oh, come on. You know she. Well, why do you ask me this question? You want the truth? I'm telling you the truth. So I let her give you a hand job. My sex let life. her play There's with no your hand pain. job. There's no your job. If it's she job, gave you a hand job. job, you're telling me you wouldn't get erect? Maybe you would. So I can't get erect. Are, are you attracted? Are you attracted to her? You are? Do you find her physically attractive, uh, like pleasant to look at? Yeah. You do. She's like hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's when got a you nice went figure. To Sicily, did She's you got a figure of 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 a twenty year old. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, when they went to Sicily, did they have the separate bedrooms again? In Sicily, you had a separate bedroom. All the way down. Okay. Down. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not making a joke here. I'm being. I, I swear. All the this way is, down my other This is okay. coming out of friendship now. All right. Okay. Put everything else aside. Yeah. Man to man, because you, I know you. you. You remind me of so many guys. You won't talk about with a, with a professional. You won't get help. If she was to kiss you, yeah. and put say Pat. I feel good. Let me play with your penis. No, if she did that, I'd laugh. No, let her touch it. I would laugh because my, 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 my I would her laugh. Hand, He's nervous. Her, because her I, hand, would, I would be embarrassed if she made the first her, move. Did you tell her you can't get an erection? I, I never discussed it. And she's never said to you, Pat, I, I she burned. Knows, it's my, she knows, it's not on my fucking business. And she never says to you, I burn for you, I want you, I no, need she, you. No, we don't never. talk that way. Why don't wow. you stay tonight? Nothing? Nothing, please sleep in my bed. I want to cuddle with you at when? night. She never said I want to sleep in your bed with never you. Never said that to me. Like I want to cuddle with you. I want to have. I want no, to. No, I close. tell her. I kiss her. I like her. I tell her. I tell her. I tell her. You know, I, I care about you. I tell her that. Doesn't she have needs? Sexual needs? Did she? Don't ask her. The fuck do I know? I don't ask, ask her. her. I don't want to ask her because if Would she says to me no, I'll never talk. I'll feel terrible. Right. In other words, if she turned around and I said, "Listen, I want to go to beaches. I'd rather not," I would fucking be devastated. You think you're being played? She's doing someone else and then just playing you for your money. I hope, you know what I told her? What? I'll drive you there. You let her bang another Did guy. Did you ever just told you that? Yeah. Because it's none of my fucking business. She wants to go where she got to go. You wouldn't care goes. if she was banging some guy on the side. It's none of my business. I don't ask her. Wow. Wow. Just take. <laughs> and the Viagra was nowhere. I tried Viagra. Why it's did you try crap. Viagra? I tried it. When you were with her? I tried it when, when I was alone. I tried it anyway. I took two one when time. When you're alone, it, when you're alone, it isn't gonna, when you're alone, it's not going to work. Uh, you still got to be stimulated. I took it when I was with, 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 with her. You did. Trying, you know, not letting her know it. Right. And nothing happened. I said, it's a good thing I didn't make an attempt. But no. I laid there like a lox. Did you kiss her while you were on Viagra? No. See, you got to be doing something, Pat. You gotta... I am doing something. It, uh, my doctor says I got tremendous tension. I yes, don't know what you the do. fuck that you do. Means. Because you're angry. You never dealt with this. I'm you angry. Lot, you got well, a you lot just of, told me I'm angry. You're you right, got I am a angry. shitload of sadness in your life. And you, you, know, you had a horrible childhood. You, which, which what is has still, that got to do with Because you still live in the past. 
You know you do. You're that's angry with true. your mother. You're angry with your, oh, that's you're not angry true. with that, your that, family. That, that's yes. All right. So that means I can't get a hard on. Yeah. So I'm being punished. Yeah. How come I you're can't punishing how yourself? How come I got a hard on with my wife when I'll my wife's married? Why. I'll tell you why. You were a younger man then. The death of your wife brought up a lot of issues that you haven't dealt with yet. I don't believe so. It's all piling up on you. I'm doing great. I feel happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape. I don't believe it. Not if you're not getting sex with this woman. you got to feel like a man always wants to have I, sex. I'd like her very much. The timing will be if it works, it works. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to. See, I'm talking. I'm, she's I haven't given you a hand job. It's, if she's Tell listening us. to this show, hey, I'm give Pat a hand. I job. hope I don't but lose. Him, what kind of woman are you? I don't want to. I don't want to lose her friendship. That. That's what's Pat important. wants to take a Viagra and give you give him a hand job. If you're listening to this show, for Christ's sakes, do something. He's embarrassed to ask you. Manipulate the head of his penis. You're gonna embarrass her now because you know. We Whatever. Got, she's got to come out with this. You got to go. She's got all... friends in Vegas like I do. You embarrass her. You two them. need to confront this. You need some baby oil. Why? Wait a minute. Wait, let me ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I said you need some baby oil. You do. Yes. Artie, go and sit next to Pat on the couch and show him what we're talking about. <laughs> do people need this, Artie? What do you make of this? You're well, I'm enjoying listening to this. Wow. I think uh, I'm it's a lack of uh, communication again, is what happened. Now I'm gonna lose my friendship with. This. Woman. No, 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 no. She'll be happy. No. We broached the subject that you two couldn't bring up for each other. I will say. Now we've cracked Howard, the ice. I will say there's nothing Howard, a hand job. Howard, I'm sorry for you. I, I am. No. I'm sorry you lost your let wife. That's number it, one. Let me give it a coup de grace. The guy loved his wife. What's I know that. Let me give it a coup de grace. Go ahead. She stood in my apartment for a week. I slept on the couch. <gasps> so what does that say? I'm saying that's how terrible. That, I don't know what, because I'm afraid. And you're upset about it. No, Admit I, that. I don't think I can handle rejection. You're not going to get rejected. She wants to be with you. She's showing well, you. She the, thinks there's something wrong with I her. Know. Why is she hanging out she with you? She thinks there's something like wrong you. with her that you don't no, want to touch her. No, she knows her. there's something wrong with me. She doesn't know you can't get erection. Well, she figures all comedians are dickheads. No, tell her you can't get an erection, but with her in the right situation, she gave you a hand job. One. We don't talk about erections That's when we're angry. That's talking about it here. She what probably thinks, she, what do you want, Gary? Finish this and then I'll do it. All right. Well, she probably thinks that you don't want her. Honestly. That's what a woman would do. A she woman's going while well, the guy doesn't, doesn't want her. Now, why she still go with me? She likes you. Well, I like her, too. She's afraid to Isn't put her... Isn't that nice enough for you? She probably can't even figure out how to get her hand down that jumpsuit. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's some pair of pants. How do you get him out of that? Big, I mean, how do you get a guy your hand down a guy's jumpsuit? You got to zip the back, you come around. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. What did you want to say? You know, I don't know that I even want to collect on this bet. Go to Gary Preview Page 1 on the top at Orange. You know, Pat was on the wrap-up show. Yeah. About, the show? Uh, the wrap-up show. He stopped by to do our show about two months ago. And yeah. we talked about the tape where he talks about the daughters. And he said that tape does not exist. And Pat and I made a bet at that time, which again, I don't believe uh, I want to collect. What am I going to say? Well, I did. I remember I came into your... Uh, right. Pat yeah. said he would kiss my balls. Oh. oh. Well, oh. I can't. Well, if I can't get a... another problem My here. luck, I... <laughs> wait a minute. My luck, if I kiss his balls, I'll get him a record. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's, go to, uh, let's go to Bong Hit Eric. Let a couple of people say hello to Pat Cooper. Uh, By the way, Pat Cooper, this Friday at Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn, this is where Pat does his stand-up. Uh, he's very successful at it. A lot of people love he's it. He's a good one. And he's got, a very good stand-up he's, he's at the top of his game. Go ahead. <laughs> this is awesome, Howard. A couple of things. I wanted to uh, mention that I, I think Pat should maybe try Cialis and fuck the snot out of his woman. Cialis. Did you try Did Cialis? You try that well, one? That's stronger than Viagra. I mean, whatever it takes, Pat, you got you to nail her. But, but one other Some thing. people do have problems with Viagra and Cialis. Cialis. Works for them. It, it, I can't, can't take it, that it can't crap. It's all right, crap. Robin, it can't hurt to try. Right. I think, I, I'll tell you what I think. What do you think? I think Pat can get it up. Right. I think if he deals with the death of his wife and puts that into the proper perspective and he's with this woman and she starts putting some baby oil on his penis and rubbing it, right. he's going to get erect. Right 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 yes, but we're trying to help right him with the hump. I mean, it's up to the woman. Why would I need any of that? I never had to have that in my, well, my marriage life. I had a nice, normal, nice you're a, you're relationship you feel with like my you, wife. But you feel like you You feel like you're cheating on your wife. I was not low. When you lose your wife. really bang? Let me ask you a question. You, really you, you lost your wife. Right. You think the next day you're thinking about getting a heart on? No, but, but this is already two years. A different woman, Pat. It's only a year with her. Oh, a year. Well, 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 she's well, terrific. Wait a minute. You I'm going to lose a friendship. I'm going to tell you show. something. Me, and, I, and you can badmouth me all you want, because I'm going to tell you something about me. Even if I lost the one I love, and I love, the next day I'm dating. 
True that, Howard. I got a date. You're not only dating, you're banging. Well, that's okay. That's you. I can't. You're dropping goo on a chin. I got to drop It took me a year. Hey, Howard. Yeah, but you got... You, you, the you're sex still not life dropping not, goo. Still not I asked goo. her to go to Italy because she's a nice lady. Yeah. She was born in Italy. She speaks the language. We had a nice time. The second time was even better. Let's go to Steve who wants to Steve, say hi. Steve, right. All right, Steve, go ahead. Hey, Pat. Yeah. Find you the peacock. What? What? Mind you, mind you the peacock. Oh. What? What does He's that mean? He's to eat the uh, eat peacock. Eat the pussy, Pat. Come on, eat the pussy. Listen, I didn't call up to say eat the pussy, Pat, so listen. It would be nice if Pat would eat this woman's vagina. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> Seriously, if you went down on her, she'd I was probably hoping, love it. Pat, Honestly. I was hoping when I walked in this room, yeah. you're going to say, Pat, I'd rather you leave. Because I don't believe it. <laughs> I, said, I said, you know what he's going to do to me? He's going to say, hey, hey you, your bad mom make it out of my studio. And I would have said, no, okay, fine. I didn't have in here to throw you out. Well, what's the difference? That's but I right. said to myself, why am I here? And now we're talking about my penis. My penis is unbelievable <laughs> right now. I feel bad. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I lost guess, your why wife. are you bad? Why? Because I think you want. I think you took Viagra because you want to have sex with this woman. I but try everything, but I can't go through anymore. I'm getting out of my mind here. Jerry, have go you had? Uh, I'm gonna do Bubba's doctor thing now. Have you had your testosterone level? Check? I went to two doctors. They said, Pat, calm down. It'll catch up. I'm 77. It'll so catch up. Not that old. You could still get it up, believe me. Jerry, you're on the air yeah. in Newark. You could. I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I want to defend Pat Coop. I heard one of the interviews, and um, he was actually giving you um, a lot of props, Howard. He was t t uh, explaining that you were the greatest um, uh, DJ, I know that. DJ of all time. I know and, that. And uh, the only thing he was angry about was that uh, he said that um, you, you admitted something that, on, on Hannity about, uh, about uh, censoring somebody. He was angry at that. I admitted it because it's true, and the and, fact of the matter is I would do it again in 20 seconds because this had nothing to do with censorship this had to do with the fact that uh within the company uh people were treating me like an asshole and the fact of the matter is when someone steals my act you're gonna fucking fight me and i'll fight any way i gotta fight well, that, that's and that's it angry, that's yeah. it i don't want people stealing my shit uh, well that's what it was but, that's right um, you go go figure out how you're gonna deal with me Please, please, I'm a uh, force. Leave, leave, leave a tech a force. Alone, I'm a force please. to be reckoned with. <laughs> He's A list. Pat. I'm A list. I'm not B. <laughs> Crazy Alice, you're on the air. I'm mad. Uh oh. What are you mad about? I hate him. I hate that motherfucker. I hate him. <laughs> Why are you so Why angry? Why are you uh, hating Pat? Fuck that fucker to hell. <laughs> Jeez, you hell. really pissed her off. <laughs> you pissed her off, Pat. What's she saying here? Listen. Listen to her. She's angry. Go ahead. He's a piece of shit. Ugh. I'm sick. Yes. Oh, fuck your fat mama next. Oh. That's a tape anyway. Don't worry. Yeah, about it. don't yeah. worry about it. What did she say? <laughs> Doesn't it matter. Was, I it am wasn't sick. even uh, real. <laughs> it's not even real. <laughs> Uh, well, believe listen, what you're telling me. Her husband won't bang her. She's mad okay. because uh, he he can't get it up to. So she hates she, him. She hates him. But I'm not talking in a in, 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 in a sloppy kind of way. No, I know. no, you're not. I'm just you happen to ask me. Look, and I'm, I'm glad said, you came. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm glad you came in today. You want me to leave? No, no. Well, hold on. What are you I'm, doing? I'm, 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 I'm making a presentation. You know what? I'm ma I'm wrapping up, but don't leave. You finished? I'm finishing. Really? What time you finished? No, no, no. <laughs> no, oh, my. I'm finishing segment. our segment. I'll go, oh, this I'm, was a segment? It's a good yeah, bit. And then I'll go to Andy Dick, who's here. He wants to be interviewed. Well, then you should. Right Andy who? Yeah, he's a little late. Good. He's out here, Andy yeah. Dick, the comedian. Oh, yeah. the comedian. Okay, I've seen him. I'm yeah. nice. All right, yeah. you're a nice guy. Look. Pat, they don't have you on the roasts anymore? They're, they're, I've done it every year. What are you talking about? I've done um, the, I don't know. I well, because you don't know. Go. You stay I, here in this fucking... Who did you roast? Cornucopia. Who did you, did you roast the last time? I was at the Jerry Lewis thing. I did the oh. one before that. You roasted Jerry Lewis? Yeah. You and, like him or you don't like him? I like Jerry. I like Jerry. Jerry's a... Listen, Jerry... Was he gracious to you? Jerry... Oh, well, yeah. Came to my house many times. Was he gracious? Jerry, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Jerry is a giant, whether you like him or not. He's a giant in show business, and uh, I you, like him. He's did, always been a friend. Did you uh, go last on the roast? You're usually the cleanup guy. I always close. You closed. I don't want to, but they say, say you got to close. Because you're so strong. It's Nobody not a question I'm strong. You. It's a question that, hey, this is, you want the truth? This is why I can't get a fucking heart on. This is why, because I'm under, when I know the next day I got to close that fucking rose, I, I'm wiped out. Because physically and mentally, why? it's a tough position to be in. Yes. Because now you're following 20 comics who say everything about the guy that we're roasting. My secret is, and I'm going to let it out, I listen to what I can't say. 
Then I go after the guy at who's who. who well, what did you say about Jerry Lewis? What? Well, I, first of all, we had Paul Schaefer did 25 minutes, which was the worst shit in the world. So I said, I want to thank Paul Schaefer for giving Jerry a chance to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I first I walked out that's what the fuck are you doing period on this day is go play your violin or whatever the fuck you do for Letterman he has no you don't right. belong here I don't come into your world stay the hell out of my world so you gave it to Schaefer right I away. gave it to Schaefer and by the way Schaefer was not a good then host. I said to Jerry Lewis I said Jerry I know you're a long time and I understand you don't even know where the hell you are today he don't know <laughs> he, doesn't. he doesn't know I said you are you used to go with a guy called Dean Martin <laughs> read my <laughs> Lips. Now, sitting next to him was uh, was uh, uh, Robert De Niro, oh, De Niro. and uh, Scorsese. Wow. Now, I said, Mr. Scorsese, this gives me an opportunity. First of all, I said, I did you a benefit on your 50th birthday, so you threw me a bone. You're coming to come into casino. I said, ladies and gentlemen, this was my show in casino. Action! Hello, Tommy. Cut! I said, that was fucking what, what Mr. Scorsese did. I said, fuck you and your movies. I said, okay, yeah, right. I don't need you. I said, remember, the guy sitting next to you is De Niro. And he knows who was the master of analyze this and analyze that. I said, and you never hear Robert De Niro talk unless he gets paid. That's why he's here mumbling. <laughs> so, so you were on a roll. You were like that. And I, people... I, I find it the minute I hit that day is I know it's fucking war. Right. But you can't. But think about own. nothing else, but you are now, they're going to say, let's hear what this guy's got to say, that he's closing. So and now, that racks your brain for days before it happens. No, but, no. Yeah, what it, happens is, you, well, excuse me, you get nervous. the worst thing to do is say, I wonder, let me write something, I don't write nothing down. You don't prepare? No. You're kidding. I swear, my grandkids, I never should see them again. You ask him on that dad, you I don't prepare pay for, for the journey. Because, Lewis. let me tell you why. When you look at what's going on, there's funny shit going on that a lot of the comics who read their shit don't see. Right. All right. Many years ago, about four or five years ago, and I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it. Michael Spinks is sitting in the corner. Right. And I walked out and said, Michael Spinks, you're no longer heavyweight champion. That means you're back to becoming a nigger. That's what I said. Oh, my. And he screamed. Oh, he oh. screamed. Oh. And I hugged him, oh. and he screamed. But you can only see that at a roast. And he knows right. I respect him, and I love him. You're not But racist. they expect that. At right. the roast, they want. That. They expect that at the roast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so what happens is <laughs> no wonder you can't get it up. I, I tell you, you, I've said things on that on that day is that if they could ever put it on home box, I'd become a genius. But <laughs> that's my <laughs> myself, right? But that's my point. You're every bit the number one guy. Rickles gets all the respect. All the they money. They deserve it. Oh, wait a second. They you, deserve it. I'm not good. animosity. Try to be them. nice to the people who want to support I'm nice you. I'm everybody, no. but I blow my stack. Wait, how many times you made mistakes? Rarely. What? Rarely. Every day of your life you made a mistake. No. Never. Give me a break. I'm so on target. No, you, I don't listen, make any mistakes. Listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. <laughs> you may not make mistakes. You understand? But when you walk out that fucking door, you're just another human being. And oh, you don't no. make mistakes. That's Fred's story, not mine. <laughs> I know you're a normal human being. I'm like Jesus himself. All I got to tell Stop you, it. I am a genius of myself. You're that a line, genius. That you are line, a genius. No, that line has caught on around the country to say, Cooper! How I stand? What'd you tell him? I said, I'm a genius of myself, <laughs> and it became a whole kind kind of thing. And uh, what can I tell you? I'm happy well, that to be is here some about story him. about uh, Michael Spinks. That's uh, something. I, I, that's I, some I, line. That's some I, line. I swear <laughs> to God. So these come out of you, and you don't. I even... should. I, you ask me about it today. Artie, days. you do a lot of roast, but you. And you right. You got to be. That's pretty amazing that yeah. he doesn't prepare any. Unbelievable. I mean, I, Artie, I, even I do that. I mean, I. Who's Artie? Right here, man. Artie, <laughs> I'm sorry to me to be that disrespectful to you. Why? Artie, you ask anybody. Everyone's disrespectful to Artie. Of the days. <laughs> in the last 11 years that I've roasted everybody, right. I closed. I never had a piece of paper in my hand. I never said, let me write something down. Because I know when I write it down, I'm, it's not going to be funny if I read it. I'm going to lose my That's my not thing. your thing. Well, I saw him on Drew Carey, and it's true. That's the one where, where I was Ooh. so... Uh, the Drew, Drew Carey roast. Oh, I did that. That, that, was, that, that was the last one I, no, That was the last one I did, and I took a hiatus. I said, put me up front once in a while. They said, no. I said, because I'm tired of waiting, you know. Here. 
Barbara Walters walks out by the time she gets to me. This one's walking out. Right. <laughs> and it's I hard, said, yeah. what the hell is this shit? Right. I Too say. long a night. And some people bomb. What? Some no. people bomb. Paul Schaefer. That day That's was a disgrace to the days, and I tell him, how dare you? And some of them who don't know what be, to do. Because he drained 25 minutes out of the crowd no, to get agita. Not, but there are a lot of comics there who don't know. They do their act. I said, why are we roasting Jerry Lewis? Why are you talking about a fish in a goddamn pond? <laughs> right. The fuck you do? These people it's pay right, $10,000 right. $10, a oh, table. People who do their act are doing a disservice. You're supposed to roast the human being. But you know what it is? That's not make them bad people. Right. Please. But they shouldn't get up there. They're not in that league. Right. Once I saw Milton Berle told a comic, Sonny, you didn't do your homework. Don't you ever come on a dais again because you're dealing with greatness here. You're not dealing with crap. This is one of the great moments of any comic's mind to stand there and close. And you ask anybody in the fries, who's the best at that? And I'm the guy because I don't have written. I don't come prepared because the fun is falling on your ass. Do you regret things you say afterwards? No. Never. Even the, using it. the N-word with Michael, Michael Spinks and his manager came over to me and said, Pat, what do you come from? I said, Michael, I love you. Please. They know you don't mean anything by it. God almighty. By when I said, trying oh, to make oh, now I'm going to give you the last one. Richard Pryor. We're roasting. One of the greatest comics, right? No question. Go ahead. Hey, I got size of Pat Cooper. I said, Richard, let me ask you a question. When the fuck are you going to die? <laughs> <laughs> I said, for Christ's sakes, I said, you took the cocaine. You burn yourself alive. At times, we eat macaroni, we fuck abroad, and we lay farts, and we die. Right. Would you do me a favor? You want to be a big star? Die now. Come on, let me see you die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I swear to you. He cuddled me and hugged me. He said, Pat, how the fuck? And, and you loved away, it. You and, loved walk, it. And, and walk away from it, and they said, Pat, thank you. I didn't mean to hurt the guy in any way. So look at the mind. The look at your fuck. mind. Don't you think you could have had the biggest career if you just no, once in no. a while? I'll tell you why. Take a if breath. You study, no, if you ever study my career, I stopped at certain points. Right. And I'll tell you the big point that I know hurt me when I did Tom Snyder. And I begged my that somebody. Was, that's came. when I got into you. That's why I had you on my show. I saw you on Tom Snyder. No, that's I when said, you needed help. No. That is you when you were not I, a man who needs help. No, <laughs> no I saw fucking you, man's an island. I saw you as a kid. No fucking man's an island. I was a kid. I was a kid. You I were saw never that. a kid. I saw you on that. I saw a tape of it, and I said, "Get me that guy on my show." No, Gary Delabardi saw me at the at the Count Basie Theater. Wait a yes, minute. But I Wait knew you minute. from Tom Snyder. And if you remember, I turned you down not because I didn't want to do it. I didn't know who the fuck you were. But so you're Gary Delabardi, I call him, I said, Gary, listening. i like to do it another time. Then I came two weeks later, and I did it, Tom and I Snyder, made you a star. The what Tom, the fuck more do you want? The Tom Snyder interview hurt you because you made fun of Lola Falana. I thought so, yes. She was a big star, and she put the kill on you. Oh, Lola, Lola, Lola Falana. She's not even in the business anymore. I know, but at the time, that's why I, I hurt think, you. Uh, what I mentioned, I think, was uh, nobody sued me. Right. My wife said to me, how the hell can you just say those things on, tele on the radio and television? I said, very simple. I raise my price now. So she laughed at me. Now, my wife is very introverted. Oh, I don't want to know. No, no, no. You know, and I turn around the next day. Get me that guy that was on Howard. I mean, that was on Tom Snyder. That's 1980. But I knew it was going to hurt me somewhere along the way. And I understood that. But I had to say, because I was tired of taking shit from closing acts who thought that they were my fucking savior. See so, the anger? That's it. You got a lot of anger. I'm not saying I don't, but that's what makes me what I am today. That's why you world. can't get it up. I'm fucking it up. I want to be what I am now. <laughs> All right, listen. All, All right, right, listen. Go listen Andy Dick is next. Yeah. All right. What do you think of him? Do now, here goes your show into the toilet. No, Andy Dick. Andy Dick's a guy who can get it up. Andy Dick can get it up for anybody. I mean, Andy Dick is a special. Uh, listen, Andy Dick special, is a special yeah. in his own way. Yeah. And I uh, listen. Anybody that likes to do comedy, I saw him licking somebody on the you're a shat in the show. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I like him. He's. I wish him nothing but the best. But he's not in my league. He's not as good as you. Not as a roaster. No, that's not, for no, sure. No, no, he's not in my league. Different approach. What does that mean? What's the I, There's only one me. Right. There's only one you. Right. There's only well, one her. 
There's a lot of Gary Dalabadis, but that's beside the point. I'm oh. getting you, Gary. <laughs> this is the man that said it. I, uh, this is the genius right, of me. Thank you. I'm glad you came in. Well, today. I'm glad you, you showed. Know, you proved me wrong. better than we thought. Uh, you yeah. proved me wrong. All right, come on. All okay. right. Okay. God bless. All right. I'm sorry. How's your lady doing? My lady's How's her ankle? Uh, it's it's healing. See, I healing. was concerned about your ladies. What the fuck don't you eat? I'm sorry about your wife. Um, thank you. I'm Let sure. me ask you something. Why, why don't you eat? I look great. I'm looking outside, and I see you have a sandwich, a special turkey sandwich. Right. What is it, organic? Great. I look great. You look like I can iron my shirts on your ass, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fucking iron. I look great. <laughs> Women love it when they uh, see Get you. ready for Andy Dick. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> there he goes. Pat, take care. There he goes. He's walking out. Thank you, Pat. My I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, wait, wait, I can't hear you. Hold we're on. playing what? your music. Who's this girl? I'm calling her. I'm coming in. Come in here. With, and bring her in. You know what I want you to do? I'm going to ask you a favor to me. And I'm going to tell you. She's I'm, in Vegas. But sh she lives in Vegas. But we what? know she can travel. She lives, what are you shoving that in my mouth for? <laughs> what I want she you lives to, in Vegas. I want you to bring her in here. You want to meet her? Yeah. No, no, I'm going to bust my balls. I swear I won't. Sure, come on. Bring her in with you. That You're night we get you laid. That night You're gonna you get laid. I no. know it. <laughs> You're having trouble talking to her about sex. <laughs> You're bring gonna her get in me laid. When you bring, You're gonna get I'm me gonna hard get on. you laid. I tried everything. What do you know? Yeah, Gary, jerk him off right now. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> bring her in here. Uh, boy, your, rating, your ratings today skyrocketed. <laughs> right. Thanks, Pat. God bless. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, Gary. I know. There he goes. Thanks, Pat. Hey, Gumbari, she was Sunari. This is all now. Now he's still screaming. What are you screaming about? Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what are you afraid? What? Everywhere I go, Cooper, put some money. Can't get it up. Don't get it up. Bring your wife in here, your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Shit. <laughs> All right. Take care, Pat. <laughs> guys on fire. Well, there was another great Pat Cooper yeah. appearance. You can't get it up. He is he is right about those roasts, man. He just gets up there and he doesn't do jokes either. He just he talks. He from, tells you right. What's it's going just on. like from the heart, like shit, like that. Like when are you gonna die? Right. <laughs> no, it's funny, but it's just funny, funny coming thought. out of him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you ever go to a roast unprepared? Uh, no, no, I no, no. I love what you. Well, do. I mean, I think he, I think he prepares, but he's proud that he doesn't have a paper. All right, right. You know, he's definitely. I think he yeah, does but what do. he's saying is what you have said many, many times. Everybody's already going to have said everything about yeah. every subject you could possibly think of. It's tough to close. So yeah. you got to really look around the room. You got to go to an evil place when you're last. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You got to go to another level. Start slaying people in your mind because you don't know what's going to come up at the. Roast. I've never seen him not kill though at a roast. Well, uh, wow. See, that went differently than you thought it would. I didn't know how it would go. I know, but you were looking at it as like a bad. It's going to be a rotten. Well, you know, time. You hear how Pat lost his wife. I mean, Jesus Christ. Right. See. You know what? I, I, he, he listen. He did great. I think he's a little freaked out that he talked about what he talked. About. I'm sure he's he really is. walked out the door. And he looked at me. And goes, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> I had for real. That. He's a great guest. He's man. an incredible guest. Yeah. You got to book him with that girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get See, now he's there. back. <laughs> you know, like, I, that's, that, come on. That'd be great. Yeah. Wow. So Andy Dick is here. All right. Let we, me take a break. And we got to get him Who do you bring? His son. No, what? kid. Boy, that can't be an easy oh, gig. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. 17-year-old guy, right? At the Shatner Roast, I met his kid, and his kid is like a good-looking kid. He right. seems like a kid who gets a lot of pussy. <laughs> I mean, he seems like one of those L.A. kids who knows oh, what he's doing. Second. You know. I mean, being Andy's son. Yeah, can you it's imagine? It's got to be confusing. And he definitely does have a wall up. Like, he's got that cool, arrogant wall up. He's uh, like, hey, uh, doing, man? Uh, like, hey, what's up? Bro? I think <laughs> it's, you know, I, 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 and I don't mean to make a comparison here, but but like, like like being Anna Nicole Smith's kid, yeah. or being Andy's kid, I, I imagine this is very difficult. I imagine being my kid is difficult in many many ways. But uh, Andy, that's a he's setting it up. I Andy's guess. wild. I mean, yeah. Andy is wild. Well, at least Andy's a talented guy, whereas Anna Nicole, I right? Think. Well, yeah, but it's more of a free talent, show. Though. Yeah, that's it a has bad, nothing to do with talent. That's a bad analogy. I mean, but Andy's so. Hey, Artie, can I put it this way for you? No, I got what, what you're saying. What if you are you're, you you wake up one morning and your father's bedroom door is closed and you don't know if a man or woman's walking out to that door? Oh, that's oh, that's yeah. confusing. That's, that's tough. Right. That's tough. <laughs> All right, let me take a break. I like to meet Andy's son. I want to say hi to Andy. Congratulate him on the radio show he did here. He's 
sober now, too. He's sober. Oh, well. for how many days? How many days he got on that ship? I don't know. He's sober. <laughs> He's sober today. Right. It's good. this morning. All right. We'll, we'll be back right after uh, this. And oh, who is this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh -huh. Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.